Close is what we almost always are. Close to happiness, close to another, close to leaving, close to tears, close to God, close to losing faith, close to being done, close to saying something or close to success, and even with the greatest sense of satisfaction, close to giving the whole thing up. Our human essence lies not in arrival, but in being almost there. We are creatures who are on the way. Our journey, a series of impending anticipated. Oh, what can I turn? Oh, again. Oh, I see. Oh, my God. That's so beautiful. Thank you. Oh, I don't want to mess up anything. Oh, my God. Our sense of separation. To go beyond our normal identities and become closer than close is to lose our sense of self and temporary joy. A form of arrival that only opens us to deeper forms of it. I can turn? <laughs> We're waiting for directions. Hello. Hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> Am I allowed to get frisky? inevitable loss that the vulnerability of being close will bring. Human beings do not find their essence through fulfillment or eventual arrival, but by staying close to the way they like to travel, to the way they hold the conversation between the ground on which they stand and the horizon to which they go. We are, in effect, always close, always close to the ultimate secret. True. 
taking a sip of water would help, but went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> um, so right one second ago, I just asked my boys, I said I was going to talk about Aunt Melissa. What do you want me to share anything about her? And Will said that she's my sister, that I should let you all know she's my sister. Um, and James said, I love her. <laughs> okay. So, sorry. Not, I didn't have to be reading. <laughs> Um, my name is Courtney. I am Melissa's big sister. Um, and although truth be told, I more often have felt and acted like her mother, uh, her second mother. <laughs> um, I was 15 when Melissa was born. So every time someone saw me with Melissa, um, they would assume that she was my daughter. And um, with, and in fact, it prompted my mom to dye her gray hair. <laughs> Oh, it did, it did cause a change. Um, Melissa was always an inquisitive kid asking deep philosophical questions. She cared deeply for people and animals. In first grade, she would shout out when she saw um, a blue jay, she would shout out, shout out, Mama, Mama Robin, Mama Robin, protect your eggs. <laughs> Um, and after her teacher read Ruby Bridges, the Ruby Bridges story to her class, she was appalled by the unfair treatment that Ruby experienced, and she decided in first grade to be a civil rights attorney when she grew up. Melissa is known for being quiet, but don't ever underestimate her. She can move mountains. For all of you who have had the privilege of getting to know Melissa, I'm sure you too have discovered what a gift she is. She may be quiet in some settings, but she can surely win an argument with her passion, clear reasoning, and eloquent intellectual speech. Melissa may have trouble deciding to color socks to wear, or many other little things, <laughs> for today maybe. Um, but she, but when it comes down to the more important things of life, in life and aspirations, she's incredibly bold, brave, and inspiring, and she never gives up. When she was the dewdrop princess in the Nutcracker in high school, her point shoe came off during a performance, and it didn't slow her down a bit. She continued dancing straight to the end. Um, also, while in high school, she trekked off to Tanzania to travel, learn, and work on projects to help residents in the towns that they were visiting. No offense to Melissa, but when you, were, um, when you went to the pre-Tanzania camping and hiking trip in the Berkshires, we were pretty sure that you would decide not to go to Tanzania on your trip. And instead, you ended up ahead of all the boys, and they said, if you're that fast, you could carry their, back you could carry their backpacks too, or our backpacks too. <laughs> at college, at Wellesley, she studied the simple language of Swahili. And then she traveled and studied to Morocco during one of her extended winter breaks and was accepted to Oxford University for a study abroad year. While there, although having zero experience, she decided to join the crew team. Um, getting up at the crack of dawn and walking mostly in the dark far away to practice each morning. University of Michigan Law School was where she met Russell a connection that ultimately would bring all of us here together, a union of family and friends. Melissa and Russell were good friends before they fell in love, as we heard earlier today. Um, a love so strong that Russell traveled to the other side of the world, to Tanzania, where Melissa had returned this time to an intern at an international court. After graduating from law school, Russell and Melissa moved to New York City, where she began to work for the NYCLU living out her first grade dream to help others who were less fortunate through the law. More important than all of these accomplishments that Melissa has achieved is who she is as a person. A kind-hearted, passionate woman who is ready to change the world. What a perfect match for Russell, who is equally as passionate, loves a good debate, and has so much love to share with Melissa and all those around him. The love between Melissa and Russell is easy to see and makes my big sister heart happy. What also melts my heart is how much my boys adore their Uncle Russell. That was definitely the way to steal my heart, Russell. <laughs>
Thank you for being so good to my boys and for holding Melissa's heart tenderly. I wish you a lifetime of happiness, but more importantly, the wisdom to lean on each other during all those hard times and to support each other to experience life together on this wonderful, wild journey. Cheers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, and most importantly, the lovely couple before us today, my name is Ben, and I'm truly honored to stand here as the best man, celebrating the love and union of Russell and Melissa. I have been friends with Russell for most of our lives. We lived across the street from each other as kids, and he used to come over to my house almost every day. He basically became part of my family, and he's always felt like a brother to me. So having known Russell as long as I have, I can tell you honestly that he is one of the most passionate, exciting, and thoughtful people I know. That's how I know he'll make such a great life partner for Melissa. Marriage is a journey that requires patience, understanding, and compromise. It's about supporting each other's dreams and aspirations and finding strength in, in another during the stormiest of times. Melissa and Russell, as you navigate this path together, always remember to communicate openly, listen with empathy, and cherish the little moments that make your bond stronger. I know you two are going to have a long and happy life together. You're a perfect couple. And I can't wait to see all the amazing things you'll accomplish together. Please join me in raising a glass to the newlyweds, to love, to friendship, and an extraordinary future together. Cheers.